Hi, welcome to Veterans Network. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to file your claim using VA.gov. As you see, we're already on the page, so let's get started. In the disability box, we have a link for file a claim for compensation. Even if you're filing for an increase, let's use this link. On this next page, it's letting us know that we're filing VA Form 21-526EZ, and that's the standard application for any disability compensation and related compensation benefits. It's asking us to sign in to start our application, so let's do that. It's giving us three options, sign in with DS Logon, sign in with My Healthy Vet, or ID.me. You can use either one of these options. So I'm going to sign in with My Healthy Vet for this purpose. All right, now that we've signed in, we're going to be asked a few questions just to make sure we're on the right track. Are you on active duty right now? No. Are you filing a new claim or are you disagreeing with the VA decision on an earlier claim? We're going to select the first option because we're filing a claim for a new condition or a condition that's gotten worse, which is an increase. So we're going to click on the file a disability claim online button. It's letting me know that I already had an application started. If you have not started an application previously, you should see a button that says, let's get started. So whether you see the let's get started button or continue, click on that button. It's letting me know that I already have an intent to file in place. And it also lets me know when that date is going to expire, which is one year from the date that you create the intent to file. So 12 months to file your claim. Let's get started. Click continue. It's going to ask you to confirm some information. This is information provided directly from the VA. If it's not correct, you need to contact the VA at 1-800-827-1000 and let them know that this information is, needs to be updated. In my case, everything looks correct, so I'm going to click continue. The next page is asking me to confirm my contact information, which is the phone and email, or my mailing address. Again, this may be pre-populated based off of information in the VA system. In your case, if there's anything that needs to be corrected or if it's blank, you can always click the edit button, update the information. Once it's correct, you want to click continue. The next page is asking to confirm your military service history. In my case, I have an example of my active duty service in the Army, Army National Guard, and Army Reserve. If you have an entry for reserve time, but it only represents your IRR, I recommend you clicking the edit button and remove it because the IRR is not going to be applicable for your VA claim. Once you've confirmed the dates for your service, you're going to click continue. If you do have reserve and National Guard time, you're going to be asked to confirm the overall start and finish date. So let's do that. Everything looks good. <clears throat> if you've been assigned to more than one unit, in this case I have been, so I'm going to actually just put in National Guard and Reserves because the VA has a record of my different units that I've served in as well as I can upload that information as part of my claim. So I'm going to click continue. The next page is going to ask me, am I on federal orders? Are you currently active on federal orders, reserve, National Guard? I'm going to say no and continue. And then the second step is, what kind of claim are you filing for? You have two check boxes. You can choose one or both. And in this case, we're going to choose both, for example. Again, a new condition, a disability you've never filed before. Or one, that, one of your rated conditions have gotten worse. This is an increase. So I'm going to click Continue. As we advance to the next page, it's just letting us know what they're going to be covering on the subsequent pages. So we're going to click continue. So the first thing it's going to ask me for is to identify what rated disability am I going to request an increase for. In this case, I'm just going to select scar for my left foot. You can select multiple items if you need to. But in this case, we're just going to use one. We're going to scroll down and click continue. Now on this page, it's going to ask us for what new conditions we want to claim. 
You can see that we'll be able to enter in more than one if we need to. In this example, we're just going to type in one. So we put the click on the box and as we start to type, you will see it trying to match words and that's just to help you shortcut the typing if you need to or just type it out as you need to. I'm going to use somatic symptom disorder as my example. It did not match anything in the list, but that's okay. So click save and continue. This page is just letting us know it's going to ask some follow-up questions about the conditions that we're claiming. So I'm going to click continue. On this next page, it's asking us what caused this service-connected disability? The two that we're interested in are the first two. The first is my disability was caused by an injury or exposure directly to service or your disability was caused by another service-connected disability, which is a secondary connection. In this example, we're gonna choose secondary connection so you can see what that looks like. Once we've selected the, as you'll see, that box disappears. So we're gonna choose the secondary condition. This is gonna ask us to choose the disability that caused the new disability we're claiming. You can only choose one with this drop-down box. I'm gonna show you a little tip in the box below that on how to identify other conditions it may be secondary to at the same time. I'm going to select the disability. Now, pro tip, here we can just briefly identify that the condition, I name it here, somatic symptom disorder, is secondary to all service-connected disabilities. I'm not going into any more explanation than that because this key phrase, please see attached documents, I can use even if it's a direct service connection because all of my attachments are going to provide the explanation as to how this is service connected. So I'm going to click continue. Now on this next page is asking us were we ever a POW? In my case, I'm going to say no and click continue. Okay, now on this page, it's asking about additional disability benefits. Adapting your home or vehicle, home-based care or individual unemployability if either or any of these three are applicable to you, you would select yes. And there would be additional forms associated with each one of these, but the form would let you know what those are. In this case, we're gonna leapfrog that and say no, because none of those apply to us. And I'm gonna say continue. Now it's just giving me a summary of the disabilities that I'm claiming on this form. And it's the scar for left foot, that's my increase and the new condition is somatic symptom disorder. Those are right, so I'm gonna click continue. And again, it's just letting us know what's coming on the next pages. So I'm gonna click continue. Okay, on this page, they're asking us about supporting evidence. Is there any evidence that we wanna submit as part of our claim? Yes, absolutely. And then we have three choices as VA medical records, private medical records, or supporting lay statements. I always have supporting lay statements or other evidence. And a little pro tip is if I have a copy of my private medical records, I'm not going to choose this second box. If you need the VA to request your records from your provider, then yes, you will want to choose the second box. I'm going to choose the VA medical records because one of my conditions is treated at the VA. And so I'm going to check that and show you what that looks like. So let's click continue. Okay, because we selected VA medical records, it's going to ask for the name of the VA facility. And so I type in the formal name, Jack C. Montgomery Department of Veterans Affairs Medical Center. And then we have what condition are we receiving treatment at that facility for as it's relating to what we're claiming. In this case, I'm going to just choose both of these because I receive all my care there. And when did you first visit this facility? This is when I first started visiting that VA facility. It's gonna ask you the country, state, and city of that facility, and you're gonna click save. If you've attended multiple facilities, then you're going to add another facility for each, each one that you've seen for that condition. I'm gonna click continue. Now, the supporting evidence. Here it gives us the guidelines for uploading a file. I recommend that all your files be PDF if you can, but these are the other file extensions that are allowed. One of the reasons for the PDF is that it gives you a little more size flexibility for each file. So I'm gonna click the upload button. I recommend that you store your files on your computer where you can easily locate them. I'm gonna select my PDF. After you've uploaded a file, it's gonna ask you to identify the document type. So you'll see that for, I'll scroll down here a little bit. 
We've got buddy lay statement. This applies to a personal statement or a buddy statement. If you have records from police, you have your copy of your DD-214. So each one that you upload, you're going to identify the appropriate document type for that file. If you had a disability benefits questionnaire filled out, say by a private provider, or if you're uploading your blue button report, you can upload that and identify that as medical treatment record government facility. So ident properly identify which one that you are uploading. Upload as many documents as you need to. And when you're done, you can click continue. Now it gives me a summary of all the evidence, the VA facility, and the documents that I've uploaded. I'm going to click continue. So on this page, it's letting us know that somebody might be giving us a phone call from a strange number. These are the three vendors that the VA works with to conduct medical examinations or provide medical opinions about the claims that you're making. You have QTC, VES, or LHI. You can always look at more information by clicking on these plus signs and then you can click continue. This page is about payment information. Where do you want your direct deposit from the VA when you receive your disability compensation? If you're already receiving compensation, then this is probably pre-populated for you. If it's incorrect, you can edit it, or if you need to enter a new bank account information, you can do that here as well. I'm gonna click continue. Some additional information, are you homeless or at risk of being homeless? I'm going to say no, click continue. Are you terminally ill? Yes or no, I'm going to say no, click continue. Are you currently a VA employee? Yes or no, I'm going to say no. Now it's asking me about fully developed claim program. The fully developed claim program is a way of helping the VA expedite your claim by not waiting 30 days for you to add more files after you submitted the claim. Always, always choose yes. If the VA decides that they need more information from you, it's okay. They can downgrade you to a standard application. It never hurts by entering yes. So I'm going to click continue. And we're on the last page, which gives us the ability to look at the summary of everything that we've entered in. If you need to edit anything, you can do so quickly by clicking into one of these boxes. Once I'm ready, I've read the privacy policy if I need to, I check the box and submit the application. So overall, that is the process for submitting a new claim on VA.gov. Relatively easy process. If you have any questions about this form as you're going through it, you have the VA 800-827-1000 number. If you have any questions for Veterans Network, please feel free to leave us a comment on this video or reach out to us on our website at veteransnetwork.club and on the contact us page, you can let us know what we can help you with. We hope this video has been useful for you and we hope you have a great day.